welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in the second last level in the game, I think. The, uh, the one where we learned of the wonders of the Mecha. To start off with a shout-out to Torek00, who comments on all the treasure in Billy's uh, house in the second world. The great thing about Billy's impending talk with his parents, he could very well tell them his alien friend found the dinosaur pieces underground and spit them out in the basement, and it wouldn't be a terribly unusual story for a child his age to tell. The fun part would be finding out he wasn't making it up. <laughs> I like that. Let's see here. Rather than just using the Mac to obliterate everything. Oh. Well, that works too. Hey! Treasure? No. How did I do this without him? Oh. Okay, just checking. Huh. The reason I did that was because, well, this cliff screen reminds me of, uh... Oh, what was it? It was a really early video by the Angry Video Game Nerd. The Castlevania sequel, that's right. Where you go up next to a cliff that looks the same as all the others, crouch for, like, some absurd amount of time, and then a tornado whisks you off to the right part of the game. Sort of thing that no one would have figured out back in the day. Oh uh, yes, this is where, uh... <laughs> this is where, uh, Blubber came back to life. Power up! Nope! Can't stop moving. Ah. Uh. Okay, first. Is that the right one? Is that where I need to go? I guess it's sparkling. Good luck. That was lovely. No. Well, that wasn't the solution. I guess I have to be the mech and hover over. Not that I have a problem with summoning the mech again. I guess not. That must not have been the right uh, one at all. I'm dangerous. I'm just going to do this without moving. Lock 
safe. Huh, they're not moving. They must just be awestruck. I certainly respect the right of the uh, game designers to call the enemies whatever the hell they want. I gotta say, I am disappointed that Goopal Gangers is a more creative name than the one they came up with. Yeah, that works too. I keep veering off to the left whenever I go through an area because uh, I vaguely remember falling down and missing a platform off to the left when it happened. Oh, no, this. I'm not going to ladder my way past that guy. Hey, dickhead. Pick on someone your own size. that make? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I'm not even sure there's any, like, glass or fake glass in that, uh, uh cockpit. Maybe it's a oh, no, no, there's, like, a line there. Okay. I just wasn't sure if he was only protected by the idea of being inside an invulnerable mech. it right there, damn it. I just realized. Alright, I did say I might have to do that more than once. How am I going to do that? Oh well. Okay. Let's just get this right off the bat. Look at this, Billy's house is uh, going to be safe from burglars. The only thing that can stop a bad guy with a gun is a six-year-old with a shape-shifting extraterrestrial. <laughs> the trees are shaking as he walks. I don't even think that's intentional. <laughs> like, I don't think the giant stump with a door in it is supposed to be, like, vibrating at a different pace than the background, but... Extremely difficult puzzles. 
so that when we get to the end, we can just give them pure catharsis. Like I said, I'm gonna miss these guys, but... Hey, we'll always have the memories. Plus, I feel like the look of this game is going to age a lot better than the one from the 90s. I'm just saying. Oh! I don't know if I... If I tap right on the stick, he takes a full step, so I almost walked off a cliff right there. I don't know why the spherical ones are uh, so much more endearing to me, given that they're just as deadly as the rest, but... Maybe it's because you can fire them out of the cannon, and therefore they're one of the only ones that are explicitly helpful to you. As opposed to accidentally helpful to you. Locked and loaded. The fuck? How is this even meant to be possible? Okay, first thought. No. Okay. Oh my god, I just got that. I have to... Well, in order to get down, I think I have to turn into the mech, drop through this specific section here, and then turn it off. And how the fuck do I do that without these idiots killing me? Alright, now what? not gonna help anything. I don't think I can make... I, I, I can do this, I think, but I don't think I can make that jump. No way, that would never work. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! Maybe I won't die. Maybe if I do this. Might be too far. Because I feel like if I summon him here, he'll just go through the floor. Can't flip this one. Ugh. Damn. Hell, am I meant to do that? Okay, at least I'm here. Oh shit! Got ahead of myself there. Okay, let me just check that. I was genuinely expecting him to finish the animation and then sink all the way through. Okay! Okay! I guess if it starts there, it's not so bad. Fine. And that would be very funny as if he was flattening the spikes as, if he, as he went. Alright, that's a problem. Ah, this one's lower. This one is lower still! Uh, that is a problem, though. Okay, that's the only one high enough for me to do that. Yeah, and I can't even proceed forward like that, so I guess I have to use ladders and such. Uh... 
Did the Power Rangers have a phrase they used to go back to normal? No, I guess they just finished the fight and then cut to, like, the next day or something. Huh. Fuck. Oh, wait! jumpingness. Sometimes I feel like I jump off of that, and sometimes I don't. Okay. Yeah, jump that time. I should probably have done something with those guys before I started this, but that's okay. I know, I know, but if he just stands there long enough, he will get the guy. This way. Thank you, Blobbert. I was kind of expecting it to just be a small room with a chest in it, I'm not gonna lie. What the hell? Why can't I look up? There we go. Death. Okay. Here we go. I forgot about the checkpoints, to be perfectly honest, after doing all those, uh... challenge levels? Where you have to do the whole thing over if you fuck up? I was pleasantly surprised when it just stopped me off right above the part where I needed to drop through. Hells yeah. Yes! Now we just need to get to the end. Ultimate Body Slam! Ah, yes, and now I have to do the actual other part of the level. Of course. Oh man, the timer. It's not actually gone yet, I just realized how long this clip has been going. Uh, oh, I guess so. 
Well, maybe it was an invasive alien anyway. No offense, Blobber. Jelly beans aren't a natural crop, so therefore, uh, Blobolonians are, uh, you know, <laughs> intelligent Blobolonians are not a threat to, uh, you know, agriculture and such. There is the timer. But there's the jelly bean! <laughs> Let's see that last treasure. Mind you, we did have three chests over the last level, whatever that is. The fuck? It's not the reaction you want to have when you're facing these things. Well, gee, that looks important. Does it have a challenge level on it? It does! Hmm. Do I go for the last level now, or do I do the challenge level, the last level, and then the last challenge level? Yeah, because there are chests there. Well, what the hell? I guess I'll do this one next time. And it will be next time, because as I said, the timer is gone. I'm Burning Dogface, and Billy, Blobbert, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. When we uh, proceed into the unknown, and maybe right off into the sunset. Till then, have yourselves a great day. Later!